Advanced technology, scientists calculate how fast UFOs filmed by US Navy really are. UFOs are real and we know now just how fast they can fly. The ones that have been filmed and tracked. Now the US, after the US Pentagon published its anticipated UFO report, scientists calculated how advanced technology could explain the mysterious phenomena of these UFOs. Alien or not, UFOs are zipping around in our skies and the US government has acknowledged that that's this much. On June 25th, the US Pentagon published the findings of its investigation into more than 100 unidentified aerial phenomena or UAPs, UAPs as they call them, we call them UFOs, military jargon for UFOs. Many of these UFO sightings were made by U.S. military personnel and have been leaked to the internet over the years. Not just, uh, these are not just sightings in the United States, they're also happening in Canada, the UK, Puerto Rico, Cuba, Russia, Germany, everywhere basically, China. Now one such sighting saw the light of day in 2016 and was only acknowledged by the Pentagon last year. The video appeared to show U.S. Navy pilots chasing down a strange craft off the East Coast. A pilot can be heard in the video yelling, what the F is that thing? Kindly support my Patreon account since YouTube has again demonetized my YouTube channel. The daily posts are five videos daily and they are totally different from what I have on my YouTube channel. Thank you so much for your support and that you find all my content so interesting. You'll find the Patreon account details in the description box below. And this is the image given to us by Department of Defense, by U.S. Navy pilots who tracked it, as you can see. Now, the UFO stood out for its bizarre flight patterns and glowing aura and seeming disregard for the laws of physics. Our laws of physics, anyway. Pilot Chad Underwood, who recorded the encounter from his Navy F-18 fighter jet, dubbed the UFO Tic Tac. He went on record and said that it was unlike anything else he had ever seen in his life. In 2019, the pilot told New York Magazine Intelligencer, it was just behaving in ways that are not physically normal. That's what caught my eye. Because aircraft, whether they're manned or unmanned, still have to obey the laws of physics. They have to have some source of life, of lift, some source of propulsion. The Tic Tac, as far as he could tell, did none of that and soared from altitudes of many thousands of feet to just a few hundred in seconds, which the pilot argued is not possible, and coming and stopping right in front of the, right on top of the surface of the water in a flash. But Tic Tac is not the only UFO that was defied, has defied all conventions and laws of physics. It's one of many objects reported and recorded over the years. To better understand just how truly incredible these objects are, a team of scientists has devised a tool calculating their speeds. The so-called UFO travel calculator calculates UFO speeds by applying engineering and aeronautical principles to what very well may be advanced technology. Hosted on Omni Calculator Project, Creator and mechanical engineer Rahul Singh Dari told Express UK many of these UFOs characteristics could not be replicated by our modern day technology. This does not mean the UFOs are alien. After all, the Pentagon's report found at least one sighting could be explained by a balloon. Well, balloons don't go that fast, do they? Hyperspeed? Anyway. But Dr. Dari thinks UFOs can be taken much more seriously if we look at them through the lens of science and engineering. He said, this calculator considers the UFOs as flying objects of some advanced technology and takes it on from a design engineering perspective. Like with our modern aircraft, I've tried to design them from essential variables like wing loading, wing loading and thrust to weight ratio. Based on those parameters and certain assumptions, we can try to estimate these speeds. And we can visit UFO travel calculator to see for ourselves how fast these objects travel. So using the tool, you can pit one of many unknown UFO types against 
conventional propulsion systems like the RDO-146 rocket engine, the flying saucer-shaped Tic Tac, for instance, is estimated to weigh more than 47,000 pounds, that's 21,320 kilometers, with a span of 44.6 feet, that's 13.6 meters. Armed with a single engine of unknown origin, the spacecraft could hit speeds of more than 11,800 miles an hour. At such speeds, a journey between London and San Francisco, which is 5,351 miles, would only last 27 minutes. Now, for comparison, a regular passenger jet would just uh, take under 11 hours to come to the trip, cover the trip. A triangular-shaped UFO armed with a single mystery engine, on the other hand, is estimated to reach top speeds of 5,196 miles per hour. This type of UFO would take approximately one hour to fly from London to San Francisco, 91% less time than a regular jet. Mr. Dari created the UFO travel calculator with his colleague mathematician Dr. Anna Zepanik. A key takeaway from the project is that it would be nigh impossible to recreate these mystery crafts and propulsion systems using the technology in our disposal today. And according to Mr. Dari, there are several reasons such as health and safety as well as lack of powerful and sustainable engines. He said, I think the cost to develop and build something is steep, given it needs a lot of new technologies from structural safety and propulsion standpoint, especially from a travel flight perspective. Imagine flying a much faster Concorde. The environmental impact also needs to be evaluated. The climate crisis becomes a massive factor before any project like this even takes off the drawing board. As far as the Pentagon report is concerned, Mr. Dari said it was groundbreaking to see it published. The publicly released report only contains nine pages of a much more detailed classified document, but its arrival earlier this year it was seen as a very big deal by people involved with the UFO community. Even if the U.S. intelligence agencies did not reveal the existence of aliens, some experts think that it is telling they have not ruled it out either. Mr. Dari and his colleagues, meanwhile, see the report as a good source of information and data for future research. He said, I find it intriguing to know what, come, what might come out of it. This is by Sebastian Ketley on Express UK. Please leave your comments and thank you for your support.